Welcome, and thank you for taking time to learn about AWS today. In this session, we will take a look into use of CloudFormation templates for creation of private certificate authority. First, let's start with why different teams use Infrastructure as Code for Cloud. Infrastructure as Code is a process of managing and provisioning your cloud infrastructure through machine-readable files rather than through interactive configuration tools. It allows you to easily repeat and replicate your infrastructure components or whole application with consistent outcomes. Through automation, you can significantly improve speed of provisioning and development of your applications and reduce chances of errors. Last but not least, when you handle your infrastructure as code, you can easily track and audit changes and apply other code management best practices that you are using for the rest of your application. AWS CloudFormation is a service that gives you infrastructure as code capabilities and make it easy to create collections of related resources, provision and manage them in orderly and predictable fashion. There are some key benefits of selecting CloudFormation. The service is easy to use, flexible and use declarative definition for infrastructure. This allows you to specify target state of the resources and CloudFormation handles uh, the steps necessary to get there. Natively integrated with other AWS services like Identity and Access Management for Access Control or AWS Config for Audit. It also helps you apply best practices, share templates across the organization, and refer resources between stacks. In addition to that, CloudFormation comes at no additional cost and you only pay for the resources that you create. In today's demo, we will take a look into use of CloudFormation for fundamental operations like creation of private root and subordinate certificate authority, setting up certificate revocation list, and issuing CA certificate. Let's dive into creation of private root CA. When using CloudFormation template for this task, you have to describe three resources, certificate authority itself, CA certificate, and certificate authority activation. This resource installs created certificate and does not have visual representation in console. CloudFormation templates can be written in JSON or like in this example, YAML. As you can see, you can define certificate authority resource with a relatively small amount of code. First of all, you have to specify type, used algorithms, and ISN one subject for the certificate authority. There are other optional fields that you can specify, for example, revocation configuration that contains information about the certificate revocation lists created and maintained by your private CA. It requires information about the bucket where the private CA will uh, write certificate revocation lists and valid period of the CRL in days. Second resource is root CA certificate, where you have to specify the private CA that will issue the certificate, certificate to sign in requests and sign in algorithm. As you can see, CA and CSRs here are referenced from the CA resource that was just described, and CloudFormation resolves these dependencies for you on the runtime. Last but not least is custom template IRN. Private CA uses configuration templates to issue both CA certificates and end entity certificates. We have to list root template here, otherwise, if this parameter is not provided, it defaults to end entity certificate template. Last but not least is root CA activation. As you can see, you have to specify here the certificate authority and certificate that will be installed in the certificate authority. When you describe subordinate certificate authority, you have to specify all three resources, but with slight differences. In particular, for certificate authority resource, you have to specify different type of CA. Rest of the information like ISN1 subject and tags can be also adjusted to your needs and requirements. For subordinate CA certificate, you have to specify certificate authority, CSR, but also have to specify different template IRN that takes into consideration the pass lines for your subordinate CA certificate. For the CA activation resource, you have to provide one more parameter, certificate chain. It is a base 64 PAM encoded certificate chain up to the root certi CA certificate. And in our case, this is also resolved on runtime by CloudFormation. Now let's see CloudFormation in action. We start by clicking Create Stack and selecting our file with our template. Then 
Then we have to provide the stack name that will be used to recognize all our resources. We also provide the parameters. It is optional to provide parameters with stack, but it, use of parameters helps you improve reusability of your stacks if you need to run it in multiple accounts, in different organizations, or for any other purposes. We click Next. For this exercise, we will not adjust any other options as uh, they require a separate session. So we just skip this cross screen. We we'll review uh, all the parameters and options that were specified and click Create Stack. After waiting for some time, we should see all the events throughout the creation of the stack. Now let's take a look into the resources that we created into a bit more details. First of all, we have to navigate Certificate Manager, Open Private Certificate Authority tab. And here you can see that we successfully created both private root and subordinate EAs. We'll look at the root certificate authority, you can see that template successfully passed all the information that we specified. And the created resource is virtually indistinguishable from the one that you might be creating over the console. If you navigate to CA certificate tab, you should see the body of the certificate that we created. And as you can see, it does not have certificate chain as this is a root certificate. On the other hand, we navigate to subordinate certificate authority. Certificate created in that situation uh, contains full certificate chain as specified. In addition to that, if we navigate to revocation configuration, you can see that provided serial configuration is also there and available for you. I would like to say thank you for watching this demo where you have learned how you can leverage CloudFormation templates to create private root and subordinate certificate authorities.